Hello, I am Vemgirl and I love talking about tech. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Redux. Redux is a JavaScript library that helps us manage our application's data, and I'm going to build this to-do app using Redux to show you how it works. Let's get started with the HTML code. I'll need an input box, a submit button, and a div tag to display the to-dos. Since we're using the Redux library, we also need to add a script tag for Redux. Okay, let's check it out. Cool! Now we're ready to write some Redux. First thing we need to do is create a reducer. To create a reducer, we use Redux.CombineReducers, which takes in an object of functions. These functions run whenever dispatch is called, and the return value becomes our app's new state. You'll see what I mean in a minute. To start, I'm just going to return an array of to-dos, groceries, make dinner. We use this reducer to create a store. To create a store, we are going to use Redux.CreateStore and pass in my reducer. We'll be using this store for everything, like accessing the state and dispatching events. Before we move on, let's see how we can access the state with the store. Window.store is equal to store and we're going to go to the Chrome's console. So we can access the state by using store's get state function. Cool! Now we can see that my state currently has what I put in earlier. Okay, now that I've set up Redux, I need a function called vendor that creates HTML based on our state. Let's get our container div and make sure that it's empty. Then we'll need to access the state of our app and we can do that using get state. Now I'm going to loop through each element in my state and create a div element for each item. I'll also need to display the errand and append the new element to our container div. Now when we call the render function, we should be able to see our hard-coded to-do list. Awesome! Okay, next let's add functionality to the page. We need to update the state when the submit button is clicked. So let's get that button. To update our state, we call the dispatch function and pass in an object. We are required to pass in a type key. I usually name the value based on the user's action, so I'll call it add. I'm going to pass in another key called item, and its value will be whatever is in the input box. After the dispatch function is called, our reducer will execute and we'll get our new state. But first, we'll need to go back to our reducer real quick and make sure that our state is updated accordingly. All right, we want to build on top of our current state, so we'll need to include the state and action as parameters. When you start the app, the initial state will be an empty array. And action is the object we passed into our dispatch function. It's best practice not to change the default state, so I'm going to use object.assign to make a new copy of the state. If action.type is add, I'm going to add the item into our new states array. Then we're going to return the new state. Okay, let's go back to our onClick function. After dispatching, we should call the render function to update our HTML based on the new state. Great! Now let's see what we have so far. Cool, now we can add to do's. Let's add another functionality. How about when I click on an item, the item should be removed. So let's add another dispatch event for each to do element and give it a type called remove. We also need to pass in the index and then render to refresh the UI. Let's make sure that for each is providing that index. When the reducer function executes, if the type is removed, I want to get rid of that item. Okay, let's see if it works. Awesome, we're done. Now let's recap what we need to have a Redux app running. First, we create a reducer. Then we use this reducer to create a store. Using this store, we can call getState to get the state of our data. When user clicks on the submit button, or when they click on an item, we use the store to dispatch an event to change our state. Alright, that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below.